problems on Newton's third law and law of conservation of momentum. A bullet of mass 10 grams moving with a velocity of 400 meters per second gets embedded in a freely falling wooden block of mass 900 grams. What is the velocity acquired by the block? So in this case, the bullet hit a wooden block and it got embedded within the wooden block. And we need to find what is the velocity acquired by the block because the block moves. So let us see, this is the wooden block and a bullet is coming. Bullet is of weight 10 grams and velocity is 400 meter per second. So we will call this as MB, mass of the bullet and this as VB, velocity of the bullet. This is the wooden block of mass 900 grams. We call it as MW because it is wooden block. So this diagram represents before the bullet collides. So before collision. Once the bullet collides, what happens? Bullet is inside. It is embedded. So it is inside. So the total weight of this wooden block mass becomes 910 grams. 900 of the wooden block and 10 grams of the bullet. Now we need to find out what is the velocity with which the block moves. So let us see the data given before the bullet gets embedded. So, we will call it as before collision of bullet with the wooden block. We will find out what is the momentum. So, the momentum is represented as P1. Momentum before collision is equal to MB, VB that of bullet plus MW, VW. Now, what is the velocity of this wooden block? Wooden block is a freely falling body. So, the velocity consider as 0. So, this becomes MB is 10 grams converted into kg, 10 by 1000 kg into VB is 400 plus mass is 900 by 1000 converted into kg and Vw is 0. Hence, this becomes 100 on cancellation, we get 4. So, this is 4 kg meter per second. Now, after collision, P2, which is the momentum after collision, is equal to the both are within the same mass so we will get only one momentum here which is m into v which is nothing but 910 grams converted into kg 1000 by 1000 into v because v is unknown now from law of conservation of momentum we know that momentum before collision is equal to momentum after collision so, P1 is equal to P2, that means 4 equal to 9, 10 by 1000 into V. Therefore, V is equal to 4000 divided by 910, which is nothing but 4.4 meter per second. Therefore, the velocity acquired by the block after the bullet hit it or got embedded into the block is 4.4 meter per second. So, the velocity V is equal to 4.4 meter per second. A heavy car A of mass 2000 kg 
traveling at 10 meters per second has a head-on collision with a sports car B of mass 500 kg. If both cars stop dead on colliding, what is the velocity of car? So let us see what is the data given. Heavy car A with mass 2000 kg and velocity 10 meters per second collides a sports car B with mass 500 kg and velocity not known. But what happens after collision, they just come to a stop. So this is during collision and after collision, they just come to a stop. So given data is important point here is after collision, the cars stop. So there is no momentum after collision. Neither of the car moves. So momentum after collision is zero. And we need to find momentum before collision. We know what is momentum before collision. The data that is given represents before collision. So the momentum of Car A is MA into VA which is equal to 2000 kg into 10 meter per second which is 20,000 kg meter per second. Momentum of car B, MB into VB which is 500 kg into VB which is not known. So 500 VB. Now the total momentum from law of conservation we know that so law of conservation of momentum states that the total momentum before collision which is PA plus PB is equal to total momentum after collision which is 0. So 20,000 plus 500 VB is equal to 0. That means 500 VB is equal to minus 20,000. VB is equal to minus 20,000 divided by 500, 0, 0, 0, 0, 5, 1, 4, 0, which is minus 40 meter per second. So VB is 40 meter per second in opposite direction to that of car A.